mass logger numerical analysis numerical differentiation newtons forward interpolation formulas for derivatives youtube channel mass logger provide you easy mathematics techniques whatsapp number email address my name is sayed ahmed shah i am professor in quest nawsha bismillah rahman rahim topics finite difference table Newton's forward interpolation formulas for derivatives. Finite difference table. Writing values of the independent variable x in first column, taking five values. Writing values of f of x in second column. These are the five points equal length of interval. Taking the first difference, delta one, f of a plus h minus f of a, say delta f of a. f of a plus two h minus f of a plus h, say delta f of a plus h. f of a plus three h minus f of a plus two h, say delta f of a plus two h. f of a plus four h minus f of a plus three h, say Delta f of a plus three h. Taking the second difference, delta two. Delta f of a plus h minus delta f of a. Delta two f of a. Delta f of a plus two h minus delta f of a plus h. Say delta two f of a plus h. Delta f of a plus three h minus delta f of a plus two h. Say delta two f of a plus two h. <coughs> Taking the third difference, delta two f of a plus h minus delta two f of a. Say delta three f of a. Similarly, taking the difference, delta two f of a plus two h minus delta two f of a plus h. Say delta three f of a plus h. Taking the fourth difference. Delta three f of a plus h minus delta three f of a say delta four f of a. <coughs> Derivatives above center of table. Suppose we want to calculate the derivative at the point a. Draw the diagonal. It is a forward diagonal. Applying the Newton's forward interpolation formulas for derivatives. Drive Newton's forward interpolation formulas for derivatives. Writing the interpolation forward Newton's forward interpolation formula. Say equation number one. Use the derivative du by dx is equal to du y by du times du by dx because y is a function of u and u is a function of x. So we are using the chain rule equation number three. <coughs> Now equation one. Y is equal to y naught plus u delta y naught multiply this value u with this bracket value u minus one. So we can write u square minus u. Divided by two factorial, delta two y naught. Similarly, multiplying these three factors, we can write this value divided by three factorial, delta three y naught. Similarly, we are writing these values, multiply these factors, so then we can write this value, delta four y naught. For the further expansion, we can write. Plus u u minus one u minus two u minus three u minus four divided by four factorial. Instead of the four factorial, we can write five factorial. After simplifying the equation number one, then differentiate it. With respect to u, we get 
dy by du is equal to y naught derivative this is a constant zero the derivative of u is one say delta y naught the plus the derivative of u square is two u or u means one divided by two factorial delta two y naught plus the derivative of u cube is three u square the derivative of uh, minus three u square is minus six u the derivative of plus two u is plus two divided by three factorial delta three y y naught plus the derivative of u raised to the power of four is four u cube minus six u cube derivative is minus eighteen u square plus eleven u square means derivative is twenty two u minus six u derivative is minus six divided by four factorial delta four y naught plus dot or this process continues. Now differentiate the equation number two by du by dx. The derivative uh, from the equation number two du by dx is equal to the derivative of x is one, x naught is a number, say zero, divided by h. This is a one by h. So differentiating to respect to x, we get one by h. <coughs> say equation number five. Now equation three becomes. Substituting the values in equation number three in place of the y by du, we will have to substitute this value. In place of du by dx, we will have to put one by h. This is called the first derivative. Say equation number six. <coughs> Again, differentiate this equation so that we can get the second derivative. Using the again chain rule, d2y over dx2 is equal to d over dx dy by dx d over du du by dx. Uh, this means uh, dy by dx. So we can bear this here d over dx in the form of dy by dx, which is the same. d over dx can be written as d over du and du by dx. Substituting the value of dy by dx here. Or the value of du by dx here one by h. Again, take the derivative respect to u. So this is called the second derivative. From six and seven, we know that y dash of x naught, y double dash of x naught, at x is equal to x naught when u is equal to zero. Substituting u is equal to zero here, so it means two over two factorial means two over two. Simplify it. Delta two y naught. Placing here zero, it means minus six over three factorial. Placing zero here, placing zero here, or then simplify it. So we have a first derivative. This is called the y dash of x naught is equal to one upon h. Delta y naught minus one upon two delta two y naught plus one upon three delta three y naught minus one by four delta four y naught plus minus dot dot dot. Similarly, putting in the sec here, so we can get the second derivative delta two y naught minus delta three y naught or eleven over twelve delta four y naught. These is these are the formulas for derivative and second derivative. Substituting here u is equal to zero. U is equal to zero. U is equal to zero. Then we can get this result. Or substituting u is equal to zero here, we can get the second derivative. Applying the condition at x is equal to x naught and u is equal to zero, because here. X is equal to x naught putting here, so it means u will be zero over h. It means zero. This is the, these are the two formulas. Calculate f dash of one point five, f double dash of one point five. The informations are given in the form of a table. One point five is a Value which is lying in the table, we want to get the derivative first and second at that point. 
So first you will have to check the length of the integral 1.5 minus 1 say 0.5 2.5 0 minus 1.5 say 0 0.5 2.5 minus 2.0 say 0 0.5 3.0 2.5 say 0 0.5 here h is equal to 0 0.5 it is an equal length of interval problem finite difference table write the first column values of the x in the first column write the values of the f of x in second column or so take the first differences 1.691 minus 1.729 say minus 0 0.038 1.505 minus 1.691 say minus 0 0.186 1.416 minus 1.505 this is minus 0 0.089 1.311 minus 1.416 say minus 0 0.105 similarly we take the second differences Similarly, we can take the third differences or take the last difference, four difference. We want to calculate the derivative at this point 1.5. This is value 2.0 is the center, or this value is above the center. So Again, value is 1.691. Draw the forward diagonal at that point. So, we will have to take this first difference. We will have to take this second difference or we will have to take this third difference which is lying in the forward diagonal. Applying the Newton's forward interpolation formulas for derivative, it is the first derivative formula. So substituting the differences here or the value of h. Similarly, second form derivative formula h is equal to 0 0.5, x is equal to 1.5. Substituting these values, h here 0 0.5 or x is equal to 1.5, x naught means then simplify it. Similarly, putting the values of x means x naught, we are putting this value in the second formula. It is the end of the lecture.